Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Thursday, August 8, 2024. Our reading today comes to us from Psalm 133, reading from verse 1 to 3. And it says, Behold how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. It is like the precious ointment upon the head that run down upon the beard, even Aaron's beard, that went down to the skirt of his garments, as the dew of Hermon, and as the dew that descended upon the mountains of Zion. For there the Lord commanded the blessing, even life forevermore. This reading this morning is just a reminder to us that unity is important. It is something that should be numbered, especially among the people of God. Because with unity comes peace of mind. With unity comes peace. With unity, there's joy. With unity, there's also strength. And the list goes on, you could add a number of benefits to just that one word, unity. But when there's disunity, it creates a tear in the relationship and it makes us vulnerable to every attack that exists around us. Because when there is no protection, when there is no you know, care or love for your fellow brethren. It leave the door wide open for any attack. Have you ever sit down and examine the unity that exists amongst the species of ants? When you have the time, and if you are fortunate to find a nest, I want you to observe how the ants work and what make the colony strong there is no ant that is working for his benefit everything that the ant does is for the benefit of the colony right and so they work together to bring in food to find food so that they can have enough store so that pre-adventure something should happen and they can't get any food. Every ant in the colony will be provided for, right? So it creates this bond between them. If they need to get across, let's say for instance, uh, a limb that may be too far for one ant to get to, they use themselves as a bridge. How amazing is that? They use themselves as rope. Whatever they need. They are so intelligent and innovative. Because what? They understand that if they live selfishly. And if they live in a disunited or ununited way. Then the colony will not survive. No, let's bring it home to us as believers. And even in general with us as a people if we as a people and if we as believers were more united and not united for unity's sake united in the cause for the lord united in those things that make us human united in the principles that bind us together with our god unite us in moral standing unite us in righteous living unite us in unselfishness right all of those positive principles if we are more united in those principles right we would be a force to be reckoned with but when you observe or we live with each other no wonder Sometimes we, we appear so distasteful to the rest of the world because we perceive or we claim to be one thing but the world can see right through us because they see that 
we are only pretending and we are misrepresenting the God that we claim to serve. Because when they observe, when we fight against each other, we are so unkind to each other. We sit down every day and we gossip about each other. Some things that are numbered amongst believers should never be numbered among us because it is a misrepresentation of what we stand for or should stand for. And so unity is important, but as I said before, there is also a false revival of unity that exists in the world today. And so you will hear a lot of folks from government official to church leaders and they speak of a unity but it's not unity that will actually create positive change that will lead people in the right direction but unity towards their own personal agendas and unity for their own cause. That's not the kind of unity that the Bible calls for. The kind of unity that the Lord wants us to have is the kind that what? As it says, it is like precious ointment, right? It, it glistens. It is, it, it, is, it is so precious that, you know, when it is applied, it is such a transforming experience that bring a total difference within the lives of those that are affected. And so when we speak of unity, we are talking about unity as it relates to those principles that make us what? Children of God that make us what? more appealing in the positive sense of the word that make us our brother's keeper that make us so attractive that everyone would want a peace right not vain presentation but what sincere appreciation so may god help us that we will learn to live in harmony we will learn to live in peace with each other. We will learn to work together for the cause of God so that whatever we do, it will be a true reflection of what He stands for and what He wants us to stand for also. May God bless us and keep us. In Jesus' name, amen.